Hey everybody, Billy Obenauer here, welcoming you back to another Bright Space with Billy. We're welcoming you to episode 3, where we're going to be talking about using videos in discussion boards on Bright Space. So this has come up because I've set up some discussion boards in my class that I'm actually calling video discussion boards, as you can see here from the title. Okay, and it's one of the options for students in my class. I don't force them to do a video discussion board if they don't want to, but it's one of the ways that they can earn points. All right, so I've got the first one set up here. It's for chapter one, the HR responsibilities of managers. And as you can see, I have a few details here listed in the bottom below the video. But as you'll see, I actually tell them what the discussion board prompt is here in a video. So the question is, how did I insert this video here and how do my students insert videos of their own for their own responses? All right, so I'm gonna click on, on the topic here so that we can go into this topic and show you exactly how the students are gonna respond. So if I was a student, I wanted to respond to a discussion board, I would, I would click on start a new thread. I'm gonna do the same exact thing here and for my subject, I'm just gonna put example thread, okay? And then I go down here and you see this, this area here, this is where I would usually type a response if I was responding to this discussion board thread. But instead of doing that, I'm gonna to go to this funky little box here called insert stuff, okay? Now, I don't know how you would look at this icon and think, oh yeah, that's gonna be a video. It's not very intuitive. So the way that I typically remember it is I look for the insert picture over here, the insert image, and then I just go a couple to the left and I get insert stuff. And when I go to insert stuff, you see I get a bunch of different options here where I can choose, and I'm gonna to go to add a video note, okay? Now, you can see here I've got record webcam as one of my options, and now it's actually recording me as I'm, or it's, it's showing me on the video as I'm recording this video, and I'm gonna create a new recording, okay? And that's how I'm gonna, how I'm gonna post a video here. So I'm gonna go ahead and I click on that. And now you can see I'm actually talking and being recorded. So this is my example video where I'm showing you how to upload something. And I'll wave hi, hi to the crowd. All right, and I'm, I'm just gonna stop this here because I don't need to record a full video. I'm just trying to show you how to go ahead and, and record and insert your video here. So I'm gonna hit stop recording. So I'm gonna go ahead and I click on that. And now you can see I'm actually talking and being recorded. So this is my example video. Okay, just pause that there because I didn't want to be talking over myself as we're going through this whole video. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click next here. Okay, and I've got to put a title on it. So for my title, I'm just going to put example video. All right, and then I do want you, what I would recommend here that you do that I do want you to do is I want you to select an audio language. And we're going to put English, United States, because that's where I teach. And we're going to click automatically generate captions from audio. And what that's going to do is that's going to make sure that if anybody has any difficulty hearing the video, that hopefully they'll be able to see some captions. Now I'm going to click next again. And you see I've got please wait. And it's just giving me a little preview. Right now what it says is the media file is currently being processed. Come back later. It does take a couple minutes to process these. It can take up to like five minutes for a short video. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click insert. Okay, and once I click insert, you can kind of see where there's a giant cursor here. My video is actually right here. I just can't really see this. Okay, so in my class, I don't require you to type anything with your video. Um, but if you were required to type, you would just hit enter. And then you would just type whatever you had to type, whether it was C video above is just what I'll put in here. Okay, so now we're subscribed to the thread, so we're gonna see if, if people respond to us, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna post, okay? Now you can see here's the main instructions for the discussion board, this is the actual prompt for the video, and now we've, if we come down here, we've got the example thread. Okay, I'm gonna click on the example thread, or I'm gonna click on more here, and we can see the media file is still currently being processed. So I'm gonna just pause this video for a second, because like I said, this can take up to about five minutes to uh, go ahead and process. So I'm gonna pause this video real quick, and I'm gonna come back to it. Oh, I didn't even have to pause it. The video is now ready. So as you can see, the video is up here on example thread, and if somebody was to come up and wanna reply or watch my video, they could just, they could just click on this triangle like this. I'm going to go ahead and I click on that. And then
Okay, so I've paused that there and you can see that's how easy it is to put a video into a Brightspace discussion board. And that's what my students are using in my class right now for my video discussion board. Okay, so I hope you all enjoyed this, vid this video here. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something and we'll talk to you soon.